Welcome back folks to Let's Play Star Trek the 25th Anniversary. This time let's not go to the wrong planet. Pollux 5 is right there. We just warp there and we are there. We have arrived at Pollux 5. H Hales. Message from High Prelate Robert Angevin, sir. Okay. Welcome, Enterprise. The High Prelate awaits you. Please beam down and meet with him. Very well. You can't beam down when you're in orbit. You can't beam down when you have shields up. So O enters orbit. We are now orbiting the highly pixelated planet. Bettering standard orbit. Excellent. Pressing K goes to here, and that is the beam down button. Without further ado, let's go on the game's first away mission. Spark, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the car. And unfortunately, we also have an ensign. He may inevitably die during the course of this mission. Multiple times. And here's the first planet. Hello! This is so much better, gentlefolk. We are honored at your presence and hope you will find peace here in our haven. Very well. Now. Captain, the floor on this planet is oh. very interesting. I wonder how useful it may be for medicinal purposes. Probably very useful. Pressing T activates talk. Let's talk to the. I'm to Captain this James guy. T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. We have received word that alien life forms are creating problems at your mining facilities at Idle Mountain. Tell me more. You have three choices in this combat, this dialogue, and they will determine how they treat you. This is the generic staff you talk for one. This one. Most high prelate and given, I am honored to meet you. I consider it my divine duty to assist you in any possible way with the spawn of the devil. Is the fawny, fawny McFawnson one, which we are not going to use. And the third one, which is always the better one. Been seeing ghosts and boogeymen, eh? I find that a little hard to believe. Is very William Shatner. Super William Shatner. But we'll get you big negatives when it comes to the actual dialogue and the overall percentage staff he gives you permission. So we're going to be nice I'm and go with James the first Kirk option. Of the Certainly, Captain Kirk. Not aliens per se. Okay. We have encountered what we believe are demons at Idol. Great. Creatures surely emerging from the very gates of hell. Oh, goody! Our god would not test us thus without Oh, of reason. course not. So we believe your might and insight are our god's method to help us discover what is going on. Fair enough. Aside from seeing demons, has any hard data been collected? Any evidence I could see? A uh, sensible reply. And <laughs> the second one is awesome. Demons? Gates of hell? This is the 23rd century. 23rd century? I don't care. Willie Young, Shatner. You are stupid. This game is low res. Aside from Let's uh, ask if they have any evidence. Hard a skeptic would consider everything merely anecdotal or unproven. Okay. My people will gladly tell you their own stories, so you need not hear it second hand through me. Very well. What can you tell me about the mine itself? Indeed. And the RC version. You're wasting the time of a starship capable of destroying this planet with campfire stories. No wonder you were dumped out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh no, let's be nice. What can you tell me about the mine itself? The area is exceptionally stable tectonically. Fair enough. It's easy for our machinery to work in. Is he not wearing stuff. shoes? We've mined for hafnium and a variety of useful trace elements. The deeper we dig, however, the more anomalous the variety of minerals seems to be. Okay. Our Ignatius brother Stephen has his own theories about why this might be. Either way, the anomalies inspired brother Candry to conduct studies inside the mine. Great. Yesterday. He reported discovering a strange door. A gate to hell, surely. For the demons caused a cave in immediately. Candry was trapped, unconscious, and the demons prevent us from rescuing him. Awesome! We can only hope he is still alive. Fair enough. Thank you for your courtesy, Kirk. May you receive the guidance and protection of our God as you complete this divine mission. Handy! Let's talk to everyone else. First, Spock. Captain, demons and supernatural creatures are almost by definition illogical. Indeed. Yet it is evident these people believe what they have seen. Barring illness or mass hysteria, I agree that a real problem seems to exist. Thanks. McCoy is the funniest in this screen. You look rather cold, Bones. I'm not cold. I'm freezing. And that damn transporter just had to set me down in the middle of a snowdrift. A centimeter of snow does not technically constitute a drift. Doctor. Indeed. And doctors say that patients complain too much. It's Ensign Emmett's, everyone! I've never seen snow like this before. This is great. You mean you've never built a snowman, Ensign? I've never even thrown a snowball. Do you think anyone would mind? Well, later, Ensign, we have work to do. No. Of course, sir. Now, if you press L, we then go to look. Spark raises an eyebrow. Indeed he does. 
Dr. Leonard McCoy, the finest doctor in Starfleet, wishes that he were on a warmer planet. Yeah, an ensign. Ensign Everts, who has never been this close to snow before in his life, gazes with childlike fascination at the ground. And here are some of the buildings. A quickly constructed Spartan shelter, primarily used by fledgling colonies. Yes. High Prelate Anne Given waits patiently for you to decide what you will do next. Now... I need to think on... Okay, this is where you save. Save new game. Yes, we're going to save an LP2 file. Because walking into here has had problems with me in this video, and it might have problems now. It depends on how well the CD detects this sound dialogue. Let's talk with this man. And we are having the problems that we had before. This will probably now lag out horribly. Yeah, hang on. Let me try and sort this. Right, I'm back in here again. Um, record, um, recopying the disc seems to have done the trick. I am worried about Brother Chubb. Can you examine him, Doctor? Yes, yes we can. And by doing this, we will use our medical tricorder. Jim, this man has suffered severe physical injuries to his head and arm. Ow! The wounds have been adequately cared for. However, he has developed a new Garion infection. Ugh. If not treated swiftly, the effects can be fatal. Oh, God. The infection can normally be treated with hypodytoxin. Okay. But there's none on the Enterprise. Oh, dear. I may be of some assistance. Will you? The Lorexian berry grows near the mouth of the cave. Okay. If I could acquire it, I would be able to synthesize the hypodytoxin from the berry. Unfortunately, the demons prevent us from approaching the cave entrance. Perhaps you could retrieve it for me. Yes, yes we could, and we will right now. This is actually timed. If you do not do this fast enough, he will die. Now up here is our first combat of the game. Okay, oh god, Klingons! Phases to kill! Click him to kill him. Aha! Gotcha! You see a small explosion, and the Klingon's hand falls to the ground with a dull thud. I guess they don't make Klingons like they used to, sir. <laughs> they don't. Pick that up. You take the Klingon's detached hand. Indeed we do. Captain, we registered phaser fire and an unknown energy beam. Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Did you register any disruptor fire? No, Captain. Why? Are there Klingons down there? No, just an idea, Kirkout. Fascinating. I begin to suspect that we have stumbled upon something that the colonists would never have uncovered. Oh? What is it, Spock? I wish to gather further data before making a definite conclusion, Captain. Yeah, typical of you. Ensign Everett seems to be rattled by the attack of the Klingons. Oh, he would be. Dr. McCoy is still hoping the cold winds that whip around Mount Idol will soon die down. Indeed. Your Vulcan science officer seems to be lost in thought, but remains alert. And in here... They look like Klingons. They're not Klingons, though. That's a robotic hand we just got from one of them. But more importantly, in the mouth of the cave... Various types of berries grow amongst the bushes. We want those! We want all... You have retrieved a sample of berries. Got to get them to Brother Chubb. And we go into this room to uh, synthesize the berries. But that will be for next time. We're going to save for now. Save new game. Just in case I've screwed up the timing event. So when we come back, folks, more of this. Saving people's lives, shooting Klingons, throwing snowballs. Till then, folks, until then. See you later.